I will speak about the, um, the work I show here in um, Albertina. So it's an animation movie. It's um, oil painting on a plexiglass and it's stop motion uh, technique. So it's the really most basic animation possibility. So it's in loop and it's always this four um, landscape. So you have the bottom of the ocean, the ocean, the earth, the star, and at the end, the planet. And I wanted to do a very simple narrative with just five landscapes. And these five landscapes can be the history of life, they can be the history of technology with the fact that we will go on Mars soon uh, to live there, probably. And um, I, well, I usually show it in loop, but um, it all starts uh, on a boat. It all starts um, in Tahiti, actually, this work. I was with uh, my sister and the kids, and um, the whole work is mainly about memory and how we rewrite to past, how this past is um, interacting with uh, history, with capital H, and how we in this constant uh, narration of herself. And um, so there was a few things happen in Tahiti. Um, First, I, do, I dive for the first time, and that's why I wanted to have the first um, image of the movie that is uh, under the water, because I was fascinated by this different space. And the other thing that was quite fascinating was the, um, the landscape as an image, and that this image, it's great as long as it's an image, but as soon as you're in this reality, there is a kind of clash and you cannot really be in the same space than the, than the landscape. It was very weird for me. The whole holidays, I didn't find the relationship between me and the um, surrounding. And I quite like this image because um, you have this uh, idyllic uh, landscape here and there is this really it's like two time that are never really connected. And for the um, movie of the astronaut and then the set of drawing that I developed here, I was imagining how is it, what happened if this clash happened also in daily life and how is it to be totally isolated from the reality in a flat, for example, and what can you, what can you do with this, um, with this idea? And then my little nephew, he has a secret one day. And um, for three days, I had to beg him to tell me the secret. And at the end, he told me that there is a password. And it took three other days that I have the password. And the password was the astronaut. And it's when I got this word and this idea, this feeling with the landscape, that really the work starts to exist in a way. Um, I will just show some of the image of the drawing. So it's a very simple drawing and I was just um, going in the flat and taking the most simple daily banal element and um, we draw it. And I was interested in how this space is connected with the outside, with the pipe and also with the body and how my body could be in this space. And then I, um, I also developed the, the text. And all the texts are about the um, desire as, in a way, the desire and the melancholy, the fact that you can never find the right place and more you look for the, um, more you look for something that, you try to find something that resists a kind of sent feelings of, absolute absurdity and um, well it's very difficult to, to find this thing that resists and all this work was about 
finding this thing that can resist. And you don't find it in desire because more you look at the image, more you want to look at the exciting image, and more you have a hole, and you can never fulfill this kind of desire. The whole of work was really about this idea, and the astronaut is also this figure that try to find meaning, or to find at least a space. But it seems that every time that you want to find space, you find time. And when you want to find time, you find space. And there is never a kind of um, point where these two notion of the, the, the idea of the desire and the idea how this desire will be fulfilled that can click at some point. So there is also um, some text, and I will just um, read one. All night long, I kill people, and the game unravels spaces and levels where I slaughter countless enemies. I sing of a holocaust, and the more I kill, the more I am on the verge of excitement, endless expanded resources, never satisfied until I reach total exhaustion, until I dream of the corpses, I'm still shooting at, in my dream, laughing at the convulsion. And the second text, I'm an astronaut. I look for something, but there is only emptiness and black or intense light that blinds me. And all around the most profound black, rendered dense. And that slide over the surface of things and slips. Yeah, that's it.